Driver cranking. Affirmative. Gunner, scan for target. Affirmative. Driver, move out. Ammo up. How sweet was that? That was cool. I love that. I probably watched that a few hundred times already. Well, ten times, but you know what I mean. Welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. Thank you for joining me for this uh, bit of game test play. Actually, I don't even want to call it game. I'm going to call it test testing of the development of Armored Warfare. I'm in. What fun this thing is. Uh, let's get some uh, stuff out of the way here first. Uh, first thing is this uh, these videos of the game testing or you can find down in a bunch of uh, YouTubers pages so I'm not going to show you anything new I'm gonna be just talking about it from my point of view and hopefully that'll add something that maybe you didn't consider or you didn't think about before um, secondly this is not a game in the traditional sense you're in the development here this is closed beta though I would call it closed alpha because there's part, no, not all the features are in yet. Usually when you're in a beta closed or open it's fully featured and you're testing the whole thing out before the published final game. Awesome. So this hey. is not a game and it really bugs me when I see people in here acting like they're playing a game when there should be Identify. testing something. Awesome. Those hey. are people in my mind that should have Save their money and go on and find a game to play, not test something because they're being useless. And there's no matchmaking in here. I'm bringing that up because it's about to become a real problem for me. <laughs> so I'm in an M113. Essentially, I'm made of aluminum. And that is a Leopard 1. And he has a very big 120 millimeter cannon. And he just clunked me. Uh, and I don't know what that icon up there means, but we'll get back to that in a second. So um, I don't know. I'm going to call it tears for the lack of a better word for what I'm trying to get across. I don't know what tier my M113 is and compared to that uh, Leopard 1 or the T62 that just passed me there. Am I, in a, am I in a tier 1 and they're in a tier 10? I don't understand the differences yet. Uh, I'm so new to this I don't know quite how it's working out. So just know if you get into this test these matchups are the normal. They're, they happen. They are the normal. So don't get all flustered. Again, I'm talking to you guys that think you're playing a game and you're complaining about the matchmaking when there is no matchmaking. Put the game, put the development down, go play COD or whatever it is that you do and leave this alone because you're being useless. You, you really are. So here I'm just uh, backing up because I was in harm's way there. And I see these guys, and they're, they're crossing uh, this river here, so I'm like, screw it, I'm not going to stay here on my, by myself. So look, we're going to go four-wheel driving. Here it is, we're going. And good lord. Oh, good lord, and it gets deeper. Oh, please don't stall. Please. Oh, if I would have died right there, it would have been so embarrassing. Oh, man. As I'm coming up here, T62 is sideways on in front of a Leopard 1, and that's what will happen to the turret. Good thing he didn't land on me. And gun depression, I don't have gun depression, so I am out of here. <laughs> Screw you, I'm taking my poison, going home. So now I'm fired from behind, and I'm like, what the hell, guys? There's all these good guys behind me, and this dude comes in. So right here, coming right up, right there. Almost right there is my very first Armored Warfare test kill. One of a couple. Um, but it's going to end here because Mr. Leopard 1 decided to make a meal of me. And so we're going to move on to the awesome second PC. game. So I, this is actually my third game. Uh, the first game was spent hiding behind a rock trying to get my settings correct so I had any kind of <laughs> FPS. It was pretty bad. I was like down to eight, something like that. And uh, so, you know, a lot of it, you know, the, this was on last Wednesday night, uh, Pacific time, it was like 7 30, o'clock, yeah, or 7 30, I believe. And uh, I got into the, the very end of it, it uh, and the, the game went, or the, the game, but the test went up 
the Wednesday before. So it took me six days because I got in it. I started doing it on Thursday. It took me six days to download it because I had some horrible, horrible issues going on that week with my internet, which are getting straightened out now. And so by the time it finished downloading and I got into the game, it literally was the last half hour the of the week long test. So I had four games and, but it, the four games was enough to make the point of this, how awesome this game is. This game is everything that World of Tanks wishes it could be. I'm gonna caveat that for the people I just pissed off. This game is holding a position that's not World of Tanks and it's not World War Thunder, which this game is going to be compared to. And uh, I think fairly so. And that there, my friends, is a T-60. So yeah, that's a really bad tank. So here's my turret frozen. I'm just waiting for it to unlock. I got an auto-loading 20 millimeter, by the way. So, we're... World of Tanks is, um, I'll call it the little kid arcade. Um, and what I mean by that is it's, it's just simpler, it's fun. I mean, I play World of Tanks, so you know, I, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. It's just a simpler, fun game. War Thunder Arcade is much more realistic. And I use that with, with quotation marks because this is not that realistic. But they try to be more realistic in their representation than World of Tanks does. This game falls in between because it has the realism to it, but it's got a lot of that arcade fun, a lot of that feel to it, a lot of that, that context of just going for it and having a good time. You're not playing a tank simulator, but you're not playing asteroids in the 7-Eleven down the corner either. It's a, it's a good, fun game, and not game, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I am even guilty of saying it because we're so used to saying it, but this is a test. It's a beta test, which I, I think, honestly, it's an alpha test. But even at this stage where there's hard, not all, hardly any of the features actually are in this game yet, um, it is really far along, it's really good. And that bodes very well for what the finished product's going to be. It's just Identify. really good. Hostile. And I think we're going to really, really enjoy this game. It's not going to hurt War Thunder. It's not going to hurt World of Tanks. This is going to fit into its own slot and be a true competitor and successful competitor, I think, Hostile. with them. So here it is. Here's the ending for me. I'm about to die. I go up too far too soon go to the well once too many times and you're going to see Identify. that i want to thank Hostile you for joining me i hope to have you back soon i appreciate your time you have a great one and uh just took that guy out now i'm going to move up and die and i hope to have you back soon have a great one until next time Identify. Hostile.